Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. The Adults Cap of the Month Awards show has arrived, and before I get into the first story, which does deal a little bit with the whole woke insanity that we have, I want to share with you a recent conversation uh, that I had with a particular woke idiot. Now, I, I, I was commenting on the new Ministry single. Ministry used to be a band that I couldn't get enough of. And uh, ever since From Beer to Eternity, their music has really, really taken a downturn again. And unfortunately, that also means a severe downturn lyrically. Al has gone overboard with supporting lunacy. So somebody sticking up for the woke culture that I was correctly speaking against decided to insinuate that someone is racist because they do not I don't want to word I word it the way I worded it in the thread. How's that? Some cultures deserve to be hated. Th that, th that's racist. No, not, not some races deserve to be hated. Asians, black men, well, women, whatever. White, Indian, no one. However, if your culture believes that it's okay to burn down the iniquities, such as ISIS did, destroying libraries with irreplaceable books in them, some of the knowledge not even word for word written down now, just passed along from people that have read it. Not everything in a, in, a, in a library that old is, is uh, preserved, although there, there, I'm sure there's more now with photography and you know, whatever. But the point is, ISIS stormed into a village, absolutely destroyed ancient, irreplaceable relics, artifacts, pieces of history, literature, uh, some of the oldest known to exist. Ancient knowledge. The wisdom of how we came to be, oftentimes in written form, destroyed. I've got no problem saying it. It's okay to hate that culture. Some cultures are better than other cultures. If that offends you, then I'm sorry. Go ahead and stick up for uh, the, the culture that rapes children. I'm sorry. I'm going to call that a, a bad culture. Does that mean I think all Islamists are worthy of having their culture hated? No. But I don't think that the kind of Islamists that I'm talking about would be very happy to be clumped into ISIS anyway. Do you know why? Because they hate the culture too, you twit! Use the thinking part of your brain. Unlike the Lego Corporation. Story one. This just made me sick. From Breitbart. Lego goes woke promises to make toys free of gender bias and harmful stereotypes. There's nothing harmful about pointing out that there are attributes which are different between men and women. That goes into what I said earlier. Just like there's nothing wrong with saying that I hate a culture that would say, I'm going to get mine before anybody else gets theirs. Yeah, I hate thug culture. You hate black culture? No. I think black culture is actually really interesting. I hate thug culture. That's not bad. 
It is also not bad to say that men are men and women are women in virtually every single instance. Of course, somebody will point to some rare anomaly of this person being a hermaphrodite. There are men and women in the vast number of cases. Now, do I think you need to go on hermaphrodite bashing? No. But the idea that we need to cater to everyone's whim. Somebody was talking the other day about the asexual parade. Why are we parading? I, I like women. Should I go parade about it? This makes no sense. None of this woke agenda makes sense. But before I run out of time on this segment, listen to this. And this is only the first of five. It gets dumber from here. Uh, hard though it may be to believe, Danish toy giant Lego, <clears throat> Denmark, what do you expect, has announced that it will endeavor to remove harmful gender stereotypes from its line because boys are reluctant to play with toys marketed towards girls. Who cares? You make some Legos for boys and you make some Legos for girls because in the vast history of humankind, there's been men there's been women. Shazam, Sparky, you learned something new. Lego, one of the largest toy companies in the world, announced on the United Nations Day of the Girl that it would seek to make gender-neutral toys in order to ensure Lego products and marketing are accessible to and free of gender bias and harmful stereotypes. In other words, rejecting sound science for the sake of a leftist agenda that is wrong. I can clear that up for you real quick. I think that's why you tune in. You hit and subscribe, right? Leave me comments and know that I appreciate you watching. Just know that. Research commissioned by Danish toy maker carried out by the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in the Media. Who cares? Found that 71% of boys prefer not to play with girls' toys as they would expect to be made fun of by other children or adults. No! They just have no interest in Barbie. And if they do, it's because they're doing something perverse, probably with Ken and maybe a Ninja Turtle. God only knows. I mean, let's go with it. The study, you know, parents know it's true. God, I would have loved to have been a parent. The study of 7,000 parents and children between the ages of 6 and 14 years old throughout the world also claimed that boys were encouraged by their parents to take part in activities surrounding the STEM fields of science. Nothing wrong with that. If a woman wants to get into it, that's fine too. Men or women, you know, or hermaphrodite. I don't have a problem. If they've earned their way, welcome aboard. Girls, on the other hand, they said, were said to be fine playing with toys in line with boys. When's the last time you saw a girl with a G.I. Joe figure? It's, it's a Barbie drugged by the almost bald head. Who are they trying to who are they trying to convince of this crap? <sighs> Julia Golden, the chief product and marketing officer at the Lego Group, said in a statement, the benefits of creative play, such as building confidence, creativity, and communication skills, are felt by all children. And yet we still experience age-old stereotypes that label activities as only being specific for one gender. One specific gender. How about the benefits of building confidence by knowing that men and women exist? And that there are differences in the genders, which you can prove in biology class. How about creativity and communication skills? based on that. That would be a correct view. Thank you for listening and hit and subscribe.